Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is cancellation day with Princess, as well as some other really exciting news from Viking Cruise Lines, and I'm wondering if their announcement is just the beginning of the door opening a little bit, with not quite so much testing for cruise lines, as well as some other um, information that I think you'll find really valuable, not only for use in a business, but also for use in your life. So first of all, I would like to welcome all of our Let's Go family members. It is wonderful to be here with you, and we are really happy to have all of you who are new with us as well. So welcome. If anyone hasn't subscribed yet, will you please subscribe to our channel? It'll make you a member of our amazing community here, as well as it will help you stay up to date with everything that you need to know if you've got a cruise booked or if you were even thinking about going on a cruise. So first of all, like I said, today is cancellation day for Princess. Today is June 14th, 2022. It's Tuesday. So let me tell you, uh, Princess just announced that as a result of recent deployment changes, they made the decision to cancel all of the Royal Princess cruises from September 5th of 2023 through October 10th of 2023. And that ends up affecting six cruises. So that affects cruises in Asia and Australia, as well as there was an Australia sea, um, seacation, a Tasmania seacation, a Fiji and South Pacific sailing, as well as a New Zealand sailing, I can remember. So anyway, I am really sorry if any of you had one of those cruises booked. And we would really like to hear from you about what you're thinking and if you are thinking you are going to book a different cruise and maybe what you're going to do. It sounds like Princess perhaps has made changes to what ships they want to have where. And so we will keep our eye out for any announcements about a different ship taking over any of these cruises. So first of all, um, there are three options. Well, really just two options. And then one nice thing that Princess has done about this. So as always, if you have your cruise canceled by Princess, you can have all of your money refunded. Or if you would like to, you can keep the cruise fare with them as a future cruise credit. And when you do that, they will go ahead and refund any money that you have paid for like your port fees and taxes or any packages or excursions that will be refunded to you. Now, a really nice thing that Princess is doing with this cancellation announcement is they are giving every single person who was affected by these cancellations a 10%, um, let me tell you, 10% discount off of a future cruise fare it will be tied to your Captain Circle number and redeemable at your discretion for any two to 15 day sailing through December 31st of 2023. So I think this is wonderful that they are doing this, even though the cruises aren't until next year. I know a lot of us plan our cruises out and I'm kind of a long range planning. And so I am really happy that Princess is doing this. And if any of you are going to receive one of these and want to let us know what you do with it, we would love to hear. So that's everything about the cancellation. Now, the next thing that is really big, everybody is talking about right now in cruising is the big announcement that Viking Cruise Lines has made. The thing that I think is so, let me start at the top. When Viking made this announcement yesterday afternoon, they said that they are basing their decision on the CDC's choice to no longer make uh, testing required to fly into the United States. So here is what Viking says at the beginning of their announcement. They say that since the dissenters of disease control has determined that such a measure, that testing to fly into the U.S. is no longer necessary, citing that the pandemic has shifted to a new phase because of the effectiveness of vaccines, therapeutics, and the high rates of immunity at the population level in the U.S., that is really interesting to me. So when we first heard that testing was no longer required to fly into the United States, honestly, I was just relieved because I know we have so many Let's Go family members who are really stressed about where they're gonna get that test and what are we gonna do if we test positive and have to quarantine and everything that goes along with that. I know that Gordon and I, we, we took our EMED test with us that we bought from EMED. They're the Abbott Laboratories ones that we were going to do for our test. But there's always the concern, if you test positive, what are you going to do? So all of that is taken away. That's a huge relief. 
But along with citing that the pandemic has shifted to a new phase, that is really such a bigger announcement from the CDC than I really gave it credit for. Vikings Cruise Lines is taking that as um, they're taking it and here's what it says. Therefore, effective immediately, Viking will discontinue all onboard COVID testing fleet wide. However, they will still have testing available for people who are on their ships and have any, system, um, any symptoms or if they request a test or if the medical team on board thinks that it's necessary to do testing. It says our vaccine requirement for all guests and crew remains in place and for the time being our crews will keep testing as needed and will wear masks at all times. Additionally, Viking highly recommends but no longer requires a pre-departure COVID-19 test unless one is required by the destination. So as of June 10th of 2022, it says select ocean voyages on the Viking Orion and, ex and expedition voyages on the Viking Octanus in the United States and Canada will continue to require a pre-departure COVID-19 test. I think that this is really big news. And here are some take home messages that I kind of have thought of as I've considered this whole announcement. And so I would really love to hear in the comments what all of you think about this. So first of all, there are three things that, I, that really stand out to me. One is that I think vaccines are here to stay with cruising and I think probably with um, quite a few other things that we haven't really thought about. I think that some cruise lines are going to allow some exemptions, but I think that um, the, the requirement for most of the people on the ship to be vaccinated is going to stay with us, especially as the CDC has cited that as one of the main reasons that the pandemic has shifted to a new um, place. And so that is one thing. Another thing I think is that additional testing changes that um, anybody is maybe hoping for will not come about until we hear more from the CDC about that. I know that in our Let's Go family members, everybody here, as well as in like general population, there is really a wide spectrum ranging from people that think that there should be even more testing than there is, to there should be no testing on cruise lines or anywhere and everything in between. I think that as a general rule, um, I maybe fall a little bit in the middle <laughs> with all of that, but um, I really think that it's um, important that we pay attention um, and follow along with what the CDC says, as that's what the cruise lines are having to kind of follow along as well. So that is what's going to really mark a change with that. And then finally, I really think that cruising is better, going better than anyone has really taken the time to quantify or to really report on a lot. I think that a lot of times we hear news reports if someone gets off the cruise ship and tells a news outlet that there were sure were a lot of um, COVID cases on board their ship. That always makes the headlines. But all of the things going smoothly never do. It never does. And so I think that this move by Viking would only have happened if things were going really well on their ships. If they were having lots of positive cases, people were being taken off their ships to be put in the hospital, lots of um, having a lot of trouble with that, I don't think that they would have made this choice. They are clearly, I think, making this choice because things are going so well. Another thing that I think is a really good indicator is for quite a long time I was hearing from a lot of people about things not going smoothly with trying to get on the ships with all of the testing with um, so many people testing positive and having to quarantine and other um, just things not going smoothly in the cruising restart. But I am hearing so much less of that and I think that it's just a good indicator that things are really going quite well. Of course there are hiccups along the way and I really do think that there will be hiccups down the road like there is with everything in life. But I think that things are really going quite well in um, cruising. So um, I think that that is wonderful. And I wanted to add to all of this, as we think of what cruise lines are doing and trying to make it a really good at cruise experience for everyone, last night on our live, our Let's Go family member Dave mentioned, and they he and his wife were recently on a cruise, and I think she is the first one that tested positive, so they had to quarantine for part of their cruise. He mentioned that a really lovely future cruise credit showed up in his account with Princess. Now, if you are not familiar, if you are on a cruise line and you test positive and have to quarantine for some days, all of the cruise lines have said they will give you future cruise credit back for the number of days of your cruise that you have to quarantine. But it sounds like Princess was extra generous with that. 
and it makes me really glad. Um, I think that the cruise lines really and truly are trying to do their very best to keep their customers happy, to make it a good cruise experience in spite of whatever happens, and on top of that, try to make it so that people will want to cruise with them. I think that some things that happen, um, clearly, lots of times in life, things can be managed better, and all of, like, I have things in my life I can manage better, and, um, so I just wanted to put that out there. I know that not everything is perfect, but I do think that things are going quite well. That kind of leads me to the next story. Our Let's Go family member, Anne, was so kind to send me a link to this article um, on Inc. Magazine. And um, it is really, I think, an amazing article, not only for someone who is studying business, but also for people who um, I think is very applicable to how you run your life. Um, indeed, if I were a business, um, if I were a management school professor, I would pull this as a case study, but let me tell you all about it. So first of all, the title of the article here is In the Midst of Hundreds of Cancelled Flights, Delta Airlines Did Something Completely Unexpected. It's What Every Company Should Do. When something goes wrong, just do whatever it takes to make it right. And so I want to start off by saying, this is really important to me that you know this, you know that we are quite loyal to Delta simply because of the experience we have with flying with them. But I would be just as pleased with this article if it were Southwest Airlines doing this, American, Alaskan Air, anybody. I think it is a really good lesson for all of us. So it starts out by talking about the fact, and I think we all can remember seeing this, that over Memorial Day weekend there were so many canceled flights. And a lot of it had to do with crew shortages. And that is something I think that the airlines are trying to manage, but so many other businesses are trying to manage it as well. We know cruise lines are, airlines are, lots of other businesses are. So they had that um, happen during a very, very busy travel period. And lots of people were um, like stuck at the airport, trying to rebook other flights, trying to figure out how to get to their final destination. And the person that wrote this article was one of those people. They were on a flight and they had to be delayed. They ended up having to take, rather than a nonstop, a flight with a stop um, on the way to where they were trying to get. But the really interesting thing is, is that a couple of days later, they received um, an email from Delta and this is what it said. We apologize again for the disruption of your travel as providing reliable, best-in-class customer service is always important to us. As part of our apology for the situation, we are depositing 10,000 miles into each member of your travel party Sky Miles account, which would be posted within the next five business days. Thank you again for your loyalty and we will see you again soon. So the person this wrote, that wrote this article pointed out really three important things, and I am going to link this article below because you should read the whole thing. First of all, they pointed out that they said they're sorry. We should always say we're sorry. The second thing is, is they did what they could to make it right. And the third, and I think the most important thing of all, well, maybe not most important of all, but surely very important, is they did not wait until all of their customers complained. They didn't wait until they had so many complaints that then they thought, oh dear, we've got to manage this situation. We better give them some miles. No, they just went ahead and did it right off. And I think that that is very, very important. And I think that it really says something about what kind of a company they are. Just like Princess being generous with the future cruise credit they, they gave to our Let's Go family member. And he is not the first one that I have heard that they have received generous future cruise credits. I think that that is really important. And um, I just wanted to share it with you because like I said, I think it not only helps us know a little bit better how to manage our businesses, but perhaps a little bit better how to manage our lives and the way we treat other people. So I hope that you find some of these updates today valuable. I hope that you enjoy hearing about what's going on with cruising. I thoroughly enjoy talking to all of you about it, and I look forward to all of your emails, to all of your comments. And so I would love to hear from you. And please do let us know if you were recently on a cruise on any cruise line, on any ship, we would love to hear how things are going because it really informs our choices and um, kind of what we think about everything right now. So thank you all so very much. If you appreciate these updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up because it really does help us out. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.